Hey guys, it's Dr. Crasio here. I am colder than normal is what not what I wanted to say. I'm a chiropractor here from London, Ontario, Canada. And today we're going to be talking about how to undo the postural stress or the physical stress of having to work from home or having to sit in front of your computer uh, or on Zoom calls or meetings, all of that stuff. Okay, I know that it, if I had to venture a guess on the stuff that will still be around when all this goes over, I think we're gonna be working from home doing Zoom calls for some time to come. So we need a strategy for how you can continue to do that because stopping is really not a good strategy. You can't stop working, but in a way to keep your body healthy. So there's lots of good data on why um, postural stress is harmful. You know, the Mayo Clinic has called it the new smoking. It's it's pretty harmful and it's, and it's bad for your health. And it's not that sitting's bad for your health, it's the over sitting, right? So really the most important thing that I want you to take away from this video is the bigger ideas. I will be showing you some specific exercises that you can do, but it's knowing the principles of how your body works that will help you long term. So we're meant to move, right? The fact that we have, you know, these joints in our body means that they are supposed to be moving. And the fact that we spend a lot of, you know, our time in, in this position means a couple things. It means that um, there's going to be uneven pressure on our joints and it also means that we're going to miss or lose the ability to go back into other positions, right? So if you're sitting in a position and it's important that we, we get all of the different factors correct, right? If, if, if you're sitting this way, so notice what happens is we all know that we get this, this, um, this beautiful bump in our back, but also my shoulders, you know, they, they internally rotate this way, which means that my pecs are gonna get tight, these muscles are gonna be weak back here. What my neck does is the front of my neck goes forward, but then the top of my neck goes up. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, I don't wanna say they're incorrect because they're not incorrect. We're just in them for far too long, okay? And then when it comes time to correcting these problems, it's not just the mobility that we have to look at. We're, we're great at understanding that our joints need to move. I think we get that. You know, I need to be more flexible. People always say I need to be, I need to be more mobile. But the other thing, the one that goes um, uh, undervalued is strength. You need to provide strength to these muscles that are, are short and tight, okay? So we're gonna do three things. We're gonna talk about your strategy that you can do starting right now, then I'm gonna show you some stretching exercises and I'm gonna show you some strengthening exercises. This is far from an exhaustive list, but it is something that will help you target the critical areas that are being affected right now. Thing number one that you can do if, um, if, you know, if timing allows it, is to get up and to move around, right? Like if you're stuck in work, there's a studying technique called the Pomodoro technique. And yes, Pomodoro is Italian for tomato, and it's called Pomodoro Technique because of those little tomato timers. And what the technique is, is you set the timer for 50 minutes, five zero. You work for 50 minutes, and then when the timer goes off, you get up, you set it again for 10 minutes, and during those 10 minutes, you don't go on your phone, you don't spend more time in this position, you know, you don't reward yourself for, you don't reward yourself for doing a good job of staring at a screen by staring at another screen. You get up and you walk around. You want your spine to be upright. You want to open up your chest. You go and you move. And it's this movement that is a really important remedy um, for sitting. So that's step number one. That's the Pomodoro technique. It's also been shown, by the way, to help you concentrate and to be more productive. So when you are sitting there doing the work, um, you'll get more done. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is stretching. I wanna show you two things to do. One of them is going to involve the foam roller. I've talked about this many, many times, but that's okay. I have no problem ever repeating myself. Just ask my wife. So what we're gonna be doing is, I'll show you two things to do with the foam roller. You're gonna take the foam roller, you're gonna put it under your shoulder blades, or if you have a, a part of your spine that looks typically curved this way, you want to put it at the apex of the curve. Now, if that's really tender, which it might be, you don't want to 
ever be in a position where this is killing you. You wanna be in a position where there's some slight discomfort or there's a feeling like a stretch. So if it's too uncomfortable, then do it up against the wall. The same thing will work. So once you find the apex of the curve, you wanna have your core nice and tight. You wanna have your glutes nice and tight. You want to interlock your hands and support your head. And what you don't want to do is you don't wanna spend your time rolling up and down. You wanna find where that big lever is. You wanna support your neck and you wanna spend time going the opposite direction. If I'm spending time forward, I want to spend the equal time going in the opposite direction. Okay, so that's number one. Now, try to accumulate when you're doing these holds. Try to try to accumulate two minutes in that position. If you can't get two minutes, if it hurts a lot, hold it for 20 seconds. Get up and move around. Get back. Do another 20 seconds, and then get to two minutes that way. Okay. The other thing that you can do is move the foam roller up to the base of your neck. And then the same thing, you're gonna, you wanna let your head naturally fall back like this. And then what that's doing is, if your head naturally falls back, remember in the position that I was showing you before, your head was forward and your neck was up. So we wanna create the reverse position in our neck, which is that awesome, sexy, you know, turtle head position, which you can do when you are hanging over the foam more like this. So pull up, and when you pull up, your chin tucks, and you can stay in that position, okay? So that's with the foam roller. The next thing is with your shoulders. So if we're sitting with internal rotation like this, the opposite of that is external rotation, you know, like that. So when you're walking around, if you can, get your shoulders into, into this, this might be challenging, but if you can get your shoulders into this position, what that will do is that will create a, a wonderful stretch up here and kind of, and start to undo this posture. So the way that we can do that, I'll show you from two angles. You want to, actually I'll show you from behind. So if you bring your arms back, tap your knuckles like this, lock them together, and then as you're straightening out your arms, Turn the palms of your hand towards your back and keep them turning all the way. If that's too hard and you can only get to here, that's perfect. And again, hold it for two minutes, okay? Now, for strength building exercise, I'm gonna show you two exercises. The first one is called the swimmer. So you're gonna lay down, you want your forehead pushed into the ground. You can definitely put something that's a little bit more comfortable. This comfort is it's pretty comfy. You're gonna start with your thumbs pointing down, back like this. Lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Nice and slow. You don't want your hands to touch the ground. Or if they do, that's no problem. You can also lift them over like this, okay? But the whole point is to build some strength on your back. And the last one that I'm gonna show you is the row. You're gonna need a weight for this one. Back nice and straight. First motion is pull and then up like that. Nice and slow, squeeze at the top, and then let it go down. You wanna be able to do eight to 10 a side, okay? Um, three sets on both hands. Give those two a try. The exercises, um, the mobility exercises, you can do them multiple times a day. The strength training exercises, try to do them twice a week, okay? Um, eight to 10 sets, like I said, three reps a side on that one. Let me know how it goes. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Have a great week. I'll talk to you guys soon.